Now you might be asking yourself, Christina, it's February. It's not Christmas time. But today is Christmas in February! <laughs> because I made it up. But today is a special day nonetheless because today marks the day that you guys get to watch a beautiful swap that I have created for the Christmas season in February. So I had this idea back in January to kind of create this, um, actually back in October of last year, I was already thinking of organizing my first ever swap and I wanted to maybe do it around my birthday, which is in early January, but because I'm a New Year's baby and I'm right after the New Year, I knew that'd be kind of tough for a lot of people to commit to. In fact, I asked a couple of friends if they'd be interested in doing a swap right after the New Year, and a number of them were just like, I can't. I'm so, like, tapped with money. We all had Christmas and, and different expenses going on at that year, and I completely get it. So in January, as I was getting ready to take down my Christmas decorations, I was feeling a little heartsick about taking Christmas down because Christmas season is so fast. I feel like I miss it all the time and it's such a frustrating experience to miss out on Christmas um, joy, the joy of the season, what it's supposed to mean. Especially as a YouTuber, you guys are watching a lot of videos in Vlogmas, there are so many videos, so much content to keep up with, you definitely lose track. We lose track ourselves of watching our friends and I just feel like the Christmas season just happened so quickly and there's so much going on and for me personally I also have back-to-back -back birthdays um, one after another so it is a very busy time so Christmas in February sounded amazing so basically what this is is this is a swap between eight different youtubers that I asked to put together a Christmas exchange and we had a set of criteria um, not everyone had to follow it they were just suggestions but it's basically a minimum of four items uh, one had to be a DIY whether it was a recipe or a DIY um, that someone could follow along with and we are supposed to do some part in our video to show us show the viewers how to make that DIY um, and then the other items were just something that reminded you of Christmas or brought back the joy of Christmas season um, because this is Christmas in February and it's just exactly two months since Christmas happened I wanted just to keep season holiday spirit going a little bit further um, into the year a little bit closer to Christmas is when you can get the after Christmas deals just why Christmas in February seemed like a great idea when I sent this out to people we could take advantage of after Christmas deals so I set a $30 budget because I didn't want people to overspend um, and you have the choice to go beyond that. I know I definitely did, um, but I tried to keep it within the parameters. I found a lot of great deals that just allowed me to just keep on going past what I originally was going to put into the box. So my person had more than four items, and I can't wait for you guys to see that. But without further ado, I want to get into my box. Okay, I have my box right here, and I can't wait to get into it. So I, since I was the organizer of this one, I know who my recipient was, um, or who was sending me my box, and... This is actually a friend of mine. Her name is Entirely Kristen. Kristen is her actual name, but Entirely Kristen is her actual YouTube channel. And she's also on Instagram and she's got like a huge Instagram following. Oh my gosh, she's like 20,000 plus or something last time I checked. But she has just been, been one of the friends that I made early on in my YouTube journey. And so I was very excited to include her in this. In fact, a lot of the people who are in this are actually older friends of mine that I made when I first started this channel, and then I have some newer friends in there as well. So I can't wait for you guys to see all the participating videos. I'm just gonna say who they are because I don't know if the other channels knew in advance. I kind of kept that a secret unless someone asked me. But I have Tony from Finding Disney. I have Christy from Christy's Corner. I have Erica from Erica Dio Campo. I have Beth from the Collectioneers Club. I have Nisha from Disney underscore 102004. That's actually her anniversary date, I believe. She can tell you that in her video. Um, then I have myself. That's number six. I have Kelly from the Mickey Bunch, and I'm really sad Kelly and I could not meet up when I was in Disney recently in Florida, so next time Kelly, next time. I know that she had a family emergency that I was only there for two days, um, but next time I can't wait to meet you. And then the last person that is involved in this collaboration is Kristen, entirely Kristen. So those are the eight people that are doing 
this this swap, this collaboration. So after you watch my video, definitely go and check out theirs. I'm going to have all the video links linked below. So without further ado, let's get into the Christmas spirit. So I have just slit open most of this. There we go. Oh my goodness. And the idea was that you could have made the box look Christmassy or not Christmassy based on your preferences. So everyone had their own choice. I think I said a mix, make it Christmassy, but also just stick to my preferences. So the first thing I see is like this fuzzy. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but the first thing I see is a fuzzy like red. Oh, this is so cozy. So one of the criteria was to send something that was cozy that reminded you of Christmas. This is so cute! This is a Teddy Sherpa throw and it is magenta-ish. I don't really know the color. This is 100% polyester. This is so soft. I love this. Oh, by the way, if you guys see a band-aid, I literally cut my finger right before I started filming this video. But this is so soft! Oh my gosh, I love it! I love plushy things like this and, well, I have one on my bed that I like keep around all year long now. It's Christmassy because it's still winter esque kind of it's like 80 degrees now outside but I'm putting on my sweater just for this video but I love these throws they are so soft and comfy oh my gosh I'm pulling it apart because this is the more I touch it the more I just want to take this apart and like show you guys but this is so cool I can't wait to use this look at the material look at the material I don't know if that's coming out on camera but this is super super soft and for my first item I love it thank you Kristen okay let's get to the next thing <laughs> Um, so the very next thing that I saw was something that um, stuck out, but I think there's a note underneath that, so I'm going to go into the note. <laughs> oh, she put it on Christmas, like stationery. It says, Merry Christmas in February. Christina, I hope you like the items I sent. When you said you wanted to start collecting Jim Shore, I had to get one to start your collection. Oh, so I'm sure you're wondering why I added letterhead. Well, my daughter loves drawing, and I thought your kids may like to draw as well. She does, so she can draw on the back of this. Um, okay, so it's, she said that her daughter picked it out. I don't want to say her daughter's name on camera because in her in her video she calls her baby girl. Um, the throw can keep you cozy by a Christmas tree. I'm obsessed with these, as am I, Kristen. And of course, a good old pair of Mickey ears. I see the ears, okay, because who doesn't love ears? Everyone loves ears, everyone. I mean, if you don't like ears, then that's cool, but most people like ears. <laughs> a tradition we do is bake cookies. Nothing too fancy. Usually sugar cookies. Me too! I love sugar cookies, although I didn't do this past Christmas and I felt so bad. Plus chocolate chip. Thank you so much for organizing this, Kristen. Oh. Okay, so this is such a great note, and I love that touch because, yes, my daughter and my son now both like to color, and my son has this, like, panache for finding any paper that I have something important on and just drawing all over it in pen or pencil or crayon, whatever the case may be. So I'm very excited to be like, look, guys, she thought of that in advance. You guys can go nuts. So that's a great idea. And when you have kids, you kind of learn that, that kids will destroy your paper. They do. They do. Okay, so, and that's one of the reasons why Kristen's channel, like, stuck out to me. I was watching her early on when I started my YouTube channel about two years ago. And, and she had her daughter integrated in her videos as well, and I do that a lot in my channel, as you guys well know. Although more recently I've tried to film when they're not, like, just hectically in my face because it can get a little distracting. And yeah, I just think that's such a nice thing to bond with other fellow parents through this YouTube community as well. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna say the gym shore for last because there's a gym shore in here, but here we have a pair of ears, and I actually don't have this one. This is so cool. This is like a standard like red mini mini, mini ears. Oh, and it's from the Disney Parks too. Did you get this when you were, she recently went? Sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, no, I think she had this box before, before she went on her trip. She recently went to Disney World for Valentine's Day, and I was like, that is the best time to come. But look at these. These are so cool. They match my outfit right now, actually. But these are nice bright red. I actually have a pair that is similar, but is pink. And I remember thinking recently, I wish I had the red one. Well, now I do, next to Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. I love these. I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna try these on. And these are Disney Parks ears too, which is ridiculous. The ones I have are fake. They're from Claire's. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. I love it. I have a pair of red ears. I don't wear red that often, but the more I look at the red ears that are, you know, new from this year and then these, I keep going, you know, a classic pair of mini ears that represents Minnie Mouse. There's just something that is nothing like it. And I actually have a matching um, skirt 
ice cream bucket holder that I'm staring at right now that holds my pen paints and stuff that I've shown on my channel before and it matches the bows so I love this thank you I'm gonna put my other ears back on just because it's a Christmas video so I don't want to confuse people Christmas oh and for the record that is something that I made behind me that is a Mickey wreath that I meant to get up by my Christmas videos last year but that's the whole point and the fun of Christmas in February I had time to take out a craft and work on a Christmas decoration that I had no time for in actual Christmas time and it's something that I wanted to show on my channel so eventually I will show you guys a video on how I made that I can just walk you guys through it after I finish opening this box but I wanted to include that in my DIY originally in my video um, or in my package to my person but I ran out of time to make it so I actually made it after I got my box and I was like oh no I can make my my wreath I can finish doing that so um, I'll still include that as my DIY component just so you guys can see it but anyway you guys will see what I'm talking about in a second okay so the next thing I have here is a thing of cookies so she sent me sugar cookie mix oh my goodness is this open slightly <laughs> no one's bags get flour everywhere but this is awesome so this is a bag of sugar cookie mix and I will definitely use this because I love making sugar cookies and like I said I usually make them for the Christmas season and we decorate them with like like Santa Clauses and candy canes and all that stuff like Christmas trees but we ran out of time this year so I didn't go too nuts so I did not make any Christmas cookies and we had our Christmas cookie tins out and my mom and I were just like I guess we're not going to use these because I had no time. And Mom Lily was like, don't even try to bother because she knew that I was doing so many different things this past Christmas season. So thank you. I will definitely make some sugar cookies coming up. I've actually been feeling a sweet tooth lately. And I was telling my husband, I was like, we need something sweet. So I will definitely use these. Thank you, Kristen. Okay, and there's something else in here. Oh, this is a letterhead. Oh, so in addition to the Christmas letterhead that she sent me, she actually included more paper for the kids to write on that is so thoughtful i thought you just meant the card oh my god okay so this is oh and it's just it's just i guess every single one of these has the cute little pups with the little santa hats on it on the top oh my gosh this is such a great idea and i'm really big into letterhead items and stationery and things like this so i just i get a kick out of paper guys i don't know i just i'm a really big paper fan so this is a perfect gift for me thank you Kristen. Ah, everything's so thoughtful. Okay, so the last thing in here is my gym shore. And let me go ahead. I just got a peek of what it is, and this is so cool. This is so cool because I don't have any items like this. So, all right, I'm gonna open this up so I can show you guys without peeking. I knew that I was gonna be able to see it because it's like, it's a plastic one. You can see through the plastic. Sometimes the box is all red, and then they just give you the preview window, but this one actually is open. But I'm gonna take it out so you guys can see it even better, and I can see it better. I love this so much. Okay, so you guys know that I'm a big Lion King fan if you watch my channel a lot. And if you're new to my channel from one of the other channels, then hi, thanks for watching. I hope that you guys stick around. Um, I actually just recently reached 1,900 subscribers, so thank you guys for that support, by the way. I meant to do a different announcement about that, but I'm really, really happy that my numbers keep climbing. And I felt like I was in the 1,800 mark for a really long time, so when I reached 1,900 finally, I was really super excited. So thank you again to everyone who's helped that become a reality, who's watching this video now. But anyway, all right, going back to this. This is a Rafiki. She got me a Rafiki, like, pose which is so awesome and oh I love it I love his face it's like his eyes are closed this is so neat okay this is it this is Rafiki oh my goodness look at his face this is just really really cool and I just think that that's so darling I'm gonna do like a different angle of him because I feel like my camera doesn't focus when I get up close like this but this is such a cool figurine so my last Christmas swap, I got my first ever gym shore, and it is this one right here, and it's Ariel on a rock. And now I have Rafiki, and I actually was thinking to myself, I don't want my gym shore, eventual gym shore collection, because <laughs> this is only my two pieces. I don't want my gym shores or my figurine collection to be all of Little Mermaid because then it just becomes one thing. I want it to represent my different tastes, and that's definitely what this is. So this is so cool. I love that I have two different movies that I love from my childhood that I get to enjoy. I'm just gonna put this back over here. Oh, and because my person was Kristen and she's such a big Frozen fan, I actually put my my Christmassy Sven in my background just for her. So I actually just 
use this video as an excuse to take out more of my Christmas decorations. And I put a little bit there, I have a little Christmas tree going, I have my like Christmas um, oriented ears over there. And then I have my Christmas Mickey, Santa Mickey um, popcorn bucket. I have my Christmas Santa uh, backpack, another uh, popcorn bucket and then my wreath. So I'll show you guys a close up the wreath later, but I had fun putting this video together because it's fun to get back to the Christmas spirit. But anyway, back to this. Okay, I digress. So this is so cool. I love this. This is awesome. And I think that that was so much fun. Thank you so much, Kristen, for being a part of this. Thank you to all the other girls who are involved. I mean, I am so grateful to the friendships that I made in this YouTube community. And this was my first ever swap that I coordinated. And there's a lot that goes into just like, checking in with people and just asking if they would like to do it. You feel awkward a little bit. You're like, do you mind spending a little bit to be part of this? And I really appreciated my friend for like, yes, let's do this. So thank you guys for taking the time as part of this swap to bring back the Christmas spirit. And without further ado, I'm gonna get into the Christmas wreath, but thank you guys for watching this. It was such a fun experience. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was from the box. Honestly, this was really thoughtful. I love the gym shore. I mean, this is obviously the item of most value, but I really like the ears too. I mean, <laughs> these are, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with both these items and then the stationery is, I think that it's so sweet to include something for your kids when it's a box that's to someone that has children and they're part of their lives, like a very, very big part of their lives. Like she knows that they are for me and vice versa. And I actually included items for the kids of my person as well. Um, and I'll just give you a hint. This was very strange, but I'm the only person that knew this. I did all the swaps randomly through a, um, through, I picked it myself out of a hat, um, or a bag, I had a bag, and I just picked out one name, and I picked out the other name, and that was the, that was the pairing. For this swap, I got, uh, Kristen got me, and I got Kristen, so we were the only ones in the entire swap that had an even exchange. I thought about changing that, but then I was like, no, I'm going to keep it the way it was. So she didn't know that beforehand, she probably knows now when she got her box, and she was like, hmm, why is this box from Christina? But she and I were the only ones that went back and forth. So after you watch this video, go to Kristen's video and watch hers. I actually brought her out of retirement a little bit. She was taking a break from her YouTube channel um, and focusing on her family. She just had a son a year ago now, so she expanded her family. And um, yeah, so I knew that she was taking a break from YouTube for a little bit, hadn't done a video in a while, and I asked her if she would be willing to be part of the swap and make a video to be part of it and she said of course so that was pretty cool too so I'm glad that I get to take her out of her YouTube break um, for her own subscribers so that they can watch this video as part of the swap so that's kind of cool um, but at any rate yeah so we had an even exchange and then nobody else in the swap is like that so you're gonna have to watch everyone's videos to see who they got but I can't wait to see everyone's boxes I'm so excited and I kept this small because I knew that sometimes swaps can get really, really big and it's hard to watch everyone. So I really felt bad. That was the one thing in organizing this that I was just like, I don't want to exclude any of my friends. I hope they don't feel bad if I don't have a chance to reach out to them. But once I had enough people who said yes, I was just like, I can't keep asking. And I talked to Christy about this. I was like, how do you do this? Because she organizes a lot of swaps and it's like, it's hard to like not include everyone and then of course Christy's answers is that she just tries to include everyone <laughs> so if you say yes she'll just keep adding and I'm just like I didn't want to do that I don't want to do that for this one so thanks so much for watching this video with me and I will walk you through my DIY of like what my Christmas tradition is what I do um, I like to make Christmas decorations and so for this video and for the Christmas holiday for next year I want to make a Christmas wreath so I'll show you really quickly how to do that in my video I showed that I made ears I don't have time to show that whole portion in this video, but I will do a separate video in the future showing how I made the ears, so stay tuned for that because I have done that and I left detailed instructions in Kristen's box on how to do it so she can follow along, hopefully, um, if she wants to. Okay, so first off, this is really easy to do during Christmas season, but after Christmas it's so hard to find these um, different components, so I will say that I definitely had got, gathered these before the Christmas season ended, but by the time I went to go back to the dollar store to find more of these like wreath materials, they were sold out. So that's why this is a different color on the bottom. Otherwise it would have all just been one color. <clears throat> but basically what I did is I bought the garland individually and I bought a, um, they are frames. So they're circular frames they sell at the Dollar Tree. So I got three different frames. This one's a wire frame because it's easier to use and more stiff. This is a like a flower frame like the green if you guys can see but really deep underneath is just a very plain green circular frame that they sell the Dollar Tree so I got three different frames I got um, I think it's uh, one wreath on this and this is like two so one 
of the wreaths to wrap around and I basically just took the garland, wrapped around, glued it down in sections until it was nice and taut. Did the same thing here and did the same thing here. Then I glued these in place and because these are like slightly movable, you can see on the back, you can't see in the front, but on the back, you can see that I then got some twine. Um, let me see if I can find it right there. So right there, you guys can see is a piece of string. And I just took like this brown, I took a brown twine, wrapped it around, tied it down tightly, did it in two places on both ears, and then I got extra pieces of this and just glued it over so that you can't see it on the front so it all looks seamless. There's no twine in the front and the back. You can see it, I didn't care because no one's gonna see the back. But I definitely glued some extra pieces on the front so you could not see that. And then I just got some baubles, some different um, ornaments from the dollar store, glued them down. I also have some bells on here um, because I got some jingle bells and I glued the jingle bells down as well. This is a flower because I just buy a um, poinsettia bunch at one point and I just took out one of the flowers and put it in the center. That might be a nice little touch. And what else did I put on here? Um, a little bit of those uh, hollies from those... The, the flower bunches as well and the final touch is just a single red ribbon which I cut off the end pieces and glued to the very bottom so that is my Christmas Mickey wreath obviously it looks like a Mickey Mouse shape and I've been wanting to make one of these for a while so that is my DIY to share with you guys and again I will do a video sometime showing the steps step by step but that's basically how you make this and I thought it was a great decor piece to have to bring into the spirit of February Christmas in February so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so much again to all the girls participating. Thank you guys for watching this. Go watch Beth, go watch Kristen, go watch Christy, go watch Nisha, go watch Tony, go watch Kelly, go watch, is that everybody? Oh my gosh. And go watch Erica. Oh my gosh. So that's everyone that's involved. So thank you again to everyone who said yes, I'd love to be part of this. I really appreciate that. And to you guys, we're having a wonderful February and I will talk to you guys soon in the next video.